From the days of simple pins, passwords, and pattern locks, smartphone authentication has really matured, and right now advanced biometrics are all the rage. Fingerprint scanners are everywhere, but there's also another technology seeking to be the next big thing, as iris scanners begin coming to phones. Last year we saw Windows 10 Mobile use iris scanning on devices like the Lumia 950, and now Android flagships are warming to the feature. This week we checked out the latest handset to pick up the ability, Samsung's new Galaxy Note 7. In addition to its standard 5 megapixel front-facing camera, the Note 7 also has a dedicated camera that exists solely to perform iris scanning. Samsung's being a little secretive about specs like resolution for this hardware, but really we're less interested in how it gets its job done, and more in whether or not it's able to do so successfully. After first setting up a pin or password, just like you do before training a phone with your fingerprint, the Note 7's ready to scan your eyes. The trickiest bit here is getting your eyes lined up properly with a scanner's camera, but a live on-screen preview window and some helpful guide circles, which can be configured with multiple looks in phone software, help steer your face in the right direction. An infrared illuminator, also on the Note 7's front, helps make sure the iris scanner can clearly see your eyes, and while you can't see most of the light coming out of it, it's so intense that Samsung warns against holding the phone too close. The Note 7 software advises that you're going to get better performance when not wearing glasses or contacts, but we found the scanner to still work reasonably well with them in place, and honestly, who's going to pop out their contacts just to log into a phone? To unlock with an iris scan, you have to manually swipe over from the phone's main lock screen to engage the scanner, which then presents you with the same eye position guide circles you used when setting it up. If everything goes well, the scanner recognizes your irises in just about one second, letting you right into the phone. You've only got about 9 seconds to get your face properly aligned, and while we understand why Samsung implemented a time limit here, if you find yourself getting distracted or there's some schmutz on the lens interfering with the scan, it can be a little annoying having to keep manually restarting things. Luckily, you can always fall back to a standard pin or fingerprint unlock if things aren't cooperating. From our brief run-ins so far with the Note 7's iris scanner, there's a lot of potential here. But just like a fingerprint scanner, speed and reliability are going to be absolutely key for widespread acceptance. We'll be putting the feature to the test in a variety of situations, indoors and out, as we get ready to tackle our full Note 7 review. Stay tuned for that in the weeks to come.